I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet a very simple broomstick lace pattern which is what you see here in front of you. Now the broomstick lace technique does take a little bit uh, to get used to it but once you do you have this very pretty result. It's uh, the same on both sides. It's a very lacy, very flexible fabric that's created and it's made up of this pattern of single crochet stitches and these loop stitches which I will be demonstrating for you today. Today in the video I'm going to be using a Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarnspirations and a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. So thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first time, please don't forget to subscribe. This channel is updated weekly with stitch tutorials and free crochet patterns. Our pattern today is worked in rows. So we're going to start by making our slip knot and a foundation chain. Our foundation chain needs to be a multiple of four stitches plus one. So today I'm going to chain a total of 21. Fifteen, twenty, and twenty-one. Once you have your foundation chain that is a multiple of four stitches plus one, you're going to start by working a single crochet in the second chain from your hook, one, two, and then into each stitch all the way across. So single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then into each stitch all the way across. Once you have your first row of single crochet stitch, you're going to chain one, turn your work, and you can really crochet as many rows as you'd like, but I'm going to work one more row of single crochet stitch. So single crochet in the first stitch and then in each stitch all the way across. This is just going to give you a strong foundation here to work uh, the looser loop stitches. Once you have your second row of single crochet stitches complete, we're going to chain one and turn your work and this is where the fun part is going to begin. What you're going to do is you're going to start by pulling that loop up to the height of a double triple. You're then going to start pulling loops up onto your hook. So what you're going to do is you're going to insert your hook into the next stitch. You want to put your finger onto that loop you pulled up because you don't want it to shrink or pull tighter. Okay, you want to keep it nice and long. Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, and draw up a loop to the same height. You're then going to yarn over and pull through that first loop, kind of like a chain stitch. We're going to continue that all the way across. So into the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop to the height of the others. You're going to see that chain stitch pull down and that's going to help secure this loop in place. You're then going to yarn over and pull through that first loop on your hook. Continue across, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop to the height of the others. You'll see your chain stitch pull down, yarn over, draw a loop through that first stitch. Continue that all the way across, keeping those loops nice and tall. Those chain stitches are basically locking those loops into place, which is going to be handy in the next step of this pattern. So always just pulling it through that first one. 
you can see that I'm keeping all the other loops on my hook. So go ahead, continue that all the way across. I now have all of my loops on my hook all the way across. And now what I'm going to do is very carefully, I'm going to remove my hook from all of those loops and place that last one back on my hook. I'm then going to chain one and turn my work. We're now going to start picking up and working through these loops and we want to work through them four at a time. So we're going to start our first loop and into those four loops we're going to work single crochet stitches just to give you a heads up. So I'm going to pick up that first loop on my hook. I'm going to pull it back here like this. There's one, there's two, three, and four. I've picked up four loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to work four single crochet stitches. So there's one. Insert your hook back through those four loops. There's two. Do it again. Insert your hook through the four loops. Three and four. And you can see it's going to twist those loops around for you. We're then going to move on to the next four loops. There's one, two, three, and four. And work four single crochet stitches. One, two, three, and four. And continue that across. Pick up four loops, one, two, sometimes they twist, just untwist them, three and four, four single crochets. Always remember to work through the four loops. Four, four single crochets. Four last loops and four single crochet stitches. looks like at the end. We're then simply going to repeat those steps two to four, rows two to four, and uh, to continue our pattern. So work a row of single crochet stitches, then a row of pulling up those loops, and then working our four single crochet stitches through four loops at a time. And uh, that's all there is to working this simple broomstick lace pattern. So feel free, go back and watch the video a few times until you get the hang of it. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, be sure to subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you again. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.